Welcome to Overwatch. This time we're going to talk about, well, Sombra again, yes, I know, I know, I know, and actually this video is about pretty much that, the fatigue around Sombra, her ARG, and a few ideas on how maybe it can be fixed in the future. If you aren't aware, yesterday, at least at the time that this video first went up, the game updated to a version with more Sombra ARG clues. In it, Bastion chimes out a Morse code if put in front of a panel on Dorado. This leads to a website. The website had a login, yada, 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 yada. More clues, more stuff to build upon, and more things to wait for, apparently. Now, this is all cool and exciting, but the community isn't responding well to it. People want information, and we're getting clues. To me, that's really the biggest problem with the ARG so far. The biggest issue is the lack of any kind of payoff. There's no hook to this ARG. There's nothing that says that we're going to get something by playing our way through it, and all the hours of excitement, all the hype poured into it is now starting to peter out. We've been walking down a dirt road, to coin a metaphor, but nobody is giving us a character chase. As someone who's pretty plugged into Overwatch, I think I'm more exhausted than anything. I even went in manually, by the way, with this new stuff and decoded the binary for myself for fun. I slowed down the audio to make it easier for myself to do, and then kind of realized that I just hit a wall after decoding the message, and I just have to leave it to people more invested in this than me, and that was kind of frustrating. Blizzard are really good at teasing heroes, like they've done this before in Overwatch. Overwatch has a really proud history of it, in fact. Junkrat and Roadhog, for example, were floating around on a text chart long before their reveal on Temple of Anubis. Anna popped up in a dossier on Temple of Anubis. Even Sombra popped up here and there in the game and was exciting and mysterious, no one knew what was really going on. Partially because of these things are kind of easy to find, they're just out there in the world, and partially because it has instant payoff. We've got names. Fun fact, by the way, the community name for Roadhog before the scrap of paper was found was Fat Bane. And we've got pictures. we got all sorts of different things to go off. Here we haven't really learned anything new about Sombra in three months of ARG. we just got the cool skull symbol, and that she really likes speaking Mexican or Spanish and is a little bit showboaty, and doesn't like Lumerico. I think that's, that's about all we've got. And so this is why I bring up the idea of a hook. Let me postulate for you. Two scenarios. Scenario A is that the ARG did not happen. Signs are now pointing to something happening at November 1st at the end of the Halloween event that might then lead into BlizzCon. So let's imagine a world without the ARG and a little somber info just pops up on November 1st. People go nuts, they're super excited, new hero being announced at BlizzCon, I mean people would expect it, but hey, it's really cool. So they crave more info and so go and watch BlizzCon for that information. Now let's go to scenario B, which is, well, right now. We've been moving through the ARG, chasing clues that lead to clues, that lead to ciphered clues, that lead to pictures, that lead to countdowns, and then there's some more waiting, and then another clue, and then it says November 1st, and we have to wait even more. Is scenario A really much worse? Is it even worse at all? Considering Anna released with limited fanfare, we got the dossier that sort of hinted at her existence, and a lot of people thought that was Sombra, for example, and then she popped up for everyone to enjoy on the PTR right after they showed a couple of lore trailers, and we got super excited about that happening. The outpouring of fan art that when that happened kind of showed that people were really ready to get on board with the new hero, and fell in love with her pretty much instantly. I think Blizzard could have managed the ARG a little bit better and just given more people stuff to go off and stuff to play with. But because I'm not a complainer, at least not by nature, and I've just complained all video, let's talk about how the ARG could have been improved. So, first things first, avoid a two-month countdown, for the love of God. Or if you're going to do one, the payoff at the end has to be big. I was expecting a video or something with, you know, voice acting in it, and some cool stuff in it, and then people would have to take the video and go by frame by frame and find data in the video, and then you'd pull information out of that and you maybe get screenshots or hints that Sombra's this thing, attacking America, like a fake news report or something cool, and it was just waiting. We literally just got a patch version number at the end of the A Moment in Crime countdown. And that was really frustrating because it's a cool idea, right? The A Moment in Crime thing was an established thing from a previous release, from a previous build-up of Junkrat and Roadhog, and that was really exciting to get that. And we had like the wanted posters for those guys where like apparently internally Blizzard went to different artists and just described Junkrat and Roadhog to them, but didn't tell them or didn't show them any actual pictures, so they just made these depictions out of what the description was like, like it was a real police thing. And so that's how they got all these really cool different images, and that was so great to see that build up and see that payoff. And now the payoff to this is just, well, we got a patch number, we have to wait for the patch, the patch is hit, and then we put Bastion in the right place and something happens. Like, all we learned is the connection between Bastion and the place in Dorado. That's it. 
It feels like the ARG basically should have started two months earlier than it should have. You could have launched it with the Bastion code. And I can't help but wonder if BlizzCon is kind of the elephant in the room. It's the paranoia factor that's keeping the ARG down. If Sombra's release has to be near BlizzCon or even at BlizzCon, then the ARG was always going to be a little bit unrewarding. We lead back into that two scenarios thing. If Sombra is set in stone for BlizzCon, then the world A, where there's no ARG, is it really any different from world B? aside from a lot of glorious, beautiful nerds sinking several hours into deciphering codes. Second, we need rewards. We need the feeling that we're progressing towards something, that we're developing forward and getting closer to the end. Some way of measuring how much we've done and how much there might be to go. If this is all a campaign against Lamerico, give us the Lamerico site early and show us like a cigarette or something with defenses going down as we crack further and further into it. Maybe we're working with Sombra or allowing her to do something. Maybe because she perhaps works with Talon, that thing could bite us in the ass. Little tidbits of lore information could just be seeded into that nicely and easily. World building around Lumerico and Mexico after the Omnic Crisis. A little bit of information may be dug up by a Talon hacker that would be all about the other heroes and their interactions with Talon. There's chances to leave breadcrumbs and clues and give us something with each clue left behind. Right now we're just kind of flopping back and forth, hoping to get something, anything, with BlizzCon two weeks away. And I can't help but wonder, is it really worth getting excited for? Anything we learn in the next two weeks or so is likely going to be fully fleshed out and playable at BlizzCon. Any shortcuts we earn, instantly blown apart then. Assuming that is, we get a BlizzCon release, which seems pretty likely. Couple with the leak, and well, let's talk about the leak. It's always a danger, right, when you're trying to hype something up to the public. Someone somehow gets a bit of information and just leaks it anonymously and it'll spread like wildfire. The leak we got was basically a picture and the information that, well, the ARG would be continuing during the Halloween event. That one leak, by the way, gave us far, far more information than we've gotten throughout the entire heap of deciphering, mysterious interviews, phone calls, emails, and all these bits and bobs. That one picture is more than we've worked for in the last two months. Now don't get me wrong, I don't want to be a killjoy, I don't want to say that I'll never do something like this. The ARG was great fun to start with and super exciting, but now the payoff has to be so great to make it feel worthwhile, but I can't help but feel people are going to be feeling a little, well, not so much let down, but maybe a bit bummed out. And that three weeks from now, the ARG will just feel kind of pointless, which is a huge pity. And before you say that, yeah, it was always going to be pointless, like Sombra was always going to release at some point and render any preview information a little bit pointless, we could have built up plenty of little clues and plenty of little bits of information seeded here and there and had a fuller picture, maybe full context, moving into her release. So for example, if we know more about Lumerica and we know more about Mexico and what happened in the Omnic Crisis, when Sombra releases, her lore is suddenly that much more impactful. Similar to how Anna is more impactful because we know about Farah and we know about Widowmaker and we know about all the background details and we know also a little bit more about the world with that release. That's just my thoughts ultimately. I think there's a huge missed opportunity here and I won't be following Sombra news too closely in terms of videos until she arrives or until something really concrete does come out. In which case I do actually have big plans. Hope you guys like the character analysis. I'm starting to go back to my roots. Those plans are currently in the works and let me know what you guys would have liked out of the ARG. Do you still like the ARG? Are you still happy it's going? Are you a bit disappointed with it? Feedback on the ARG basically. I know that Overwatch EU occasionally pops up in my comments so that feedback should hopefully go somewhere and hopefully make its way back to Blizzard. I like world building events. I just wish they were a bit more world buildy. Toodles.